Hey guys and welcome back. So in this lecture we're going to visualize the temperature on a cup or mug in augmented reality. We're going to visualize it both numerically and in color where red is hot and blue means cold. So let's start a new project. So while this is loading, let's go over to our particle, our particle IDE. And first of all, we're going to get the temperature values via the analog pin 0. We can see it will print it. And then we use the particle.variable to send our temperature variable to the cloud. So we read in our analog values and we calibrate it simply with a simple linear calibration. Where 22 is our ambient temperature and 2110 is the value that we read in at the temperature. So now you can go ahead and program our particle photon. Now you see this URL over here. So the things you'll need to change is your device ID over there, the temperature variable, call it temperature, and your access token. If you're not sure where to obtain this, you can check out my previous videos. Let's take a look at the particle the variable documentation. Now particle.variable falls part of the cloud functions. You can have a read through this document. And how they structure it over here is that they have an, a variable called analog value. They put the device ID, the variable, and the access token. And that's all you need to do. Now I'm just going to copy and paste this. And you can see what it does exactly. Copy it into your browser. And make sure you flash your particle photon. Now this obtains our JSON variables. And the result, it shows 21.7. That is the temperature that we get now. Just make sure your particle photon is flashed. So what we're going to do is we're going to send our temperature data through the cloud. And using the JSON utility, we'll read in that temperature data from our particle photon. Let's take a look at the hardware setup. So first of all, we have our particle photon. This is what you need. You need some hookup wires, with orange being power, purple being ground, and green being signal. We use a simple voltage divider to obtain the voltage from our temperature sensor. Make sure particle photon is plugged in and connected. Now, in Unity, with a, with a fresh new project, go over to our GitHub repository and download Lab 8 Hot Drink Sensor. Download all these files to a local folder. And you can see all the files that we need for this project. You are going to need to purchase one Unity asset called GPU Graph. It only costs $5. I'll discuss what each of these scripts later on in this video. So first of all, we need to import Vuforia. I'm going to import 6.1.17 and I'm using Unity 5.4. Next, we need to import our IOTA Unity database. And this is where our markers are stored. Let's go to Vuforia Prefabs AR Camera and import our image target. We need to also load in our API license key, which you can get from the Vuforia developer website. And we need to load our IATAR database and activate it. With on image target, let's select stones, our usual target template. And let's put on overlay our cube and test if it works. So as you can see, our cube is displayed in augmented reality. So now that that works, we can import our 3D mug. You can go ahead and delete our cube. So under 3D models, import the 3D mug and drag it into our scene. Now as you can see it's quite huge, so we just need to resize it until it's the right size. I'll speed up this part of the video so that it's not so monotonous. Now that we have a mug, we just want to change the coffee pot into something a little bit more animated. Let's take note of the color of the coffee. 22, 11, and 2. Now you can leave it simply as that. 
but we're going to add in the Easy Water Unity asset. So let's drag that in. Import. That looks really cool. Even on a cup. And we're going to drag it onto the liquid part of the coffee. Let's just change the color. 22, 11, 2. And you can see our coffee looks a bit more animated. You can play around with the parameters if you want. Let's click play to see if everything's still working. Okay, everything looks good. Let's go over to our Unity Asset Store and we're going to import a asset called GPU Graph. So in search tab in GPU Graph and click on over here. Now this one costs around $5. It's not that much and it would definitely add some interaction. You can find the link in the description below. Let's add in GPU Graph. It will help you to visualize the temperature values over time. Ok, so under scripts, we have two scripts. One is called Graph Manager. So let's de delete our main camera. Go to AR Camera, move it right on top. And we shows camera. Let's drag on our Graph Manager onto there. There's another script in test. And that we'll drag on a bit later. But first of all, we need to replace the code with our own custom code. So what this script does is that it imports the temperature value from another script so that our temperature values get, get graphed over time. Over here you see the tag. Now this is very important. You need to create a tag called temp underscore text one. We'll do that in a moment. So what it does, it creates a game object and we get, we look for the temperature text script and then obtain the temperature input variable. And then temp variable is the variable that gets graphed over time. Let's just organize our hierarchy. Now go over to 3D object. Let's create 3D text. Changes to temperature. And let's increase this font size. By doing this, we increase the resolution of our text. Let's just resize it and center it as well as rotate it. Let's rename it to temp underscore text. And let's add our tag as we mentioned before. If you go to graph GPU test, we remember that we saved our tag as temp underscore text one. It's very important that they correspond. And under temp text, select the tag. This allows us to find the game object without explicitly mentioning it in our code. Let's create a folder and call it scripts and import our scripts for this project. So we'll import these three, which is color change and temperature underscore text. So we're dragging temperature underscore text to temp underscore text. Let's take a look at the code. So over here we are using JSON utility and JSON variables to import our temperature data from the particle cloud. So if there's no error in our URL, we'll obtain the data and use JSON utility to obtain the field called result. That class is mentioned over here. Now as you can see we got name and result there so therefore we, we select result. That result is saved to temp and assigned to temperature input. This is the URL that we mentioned before and that's where we start our core routine. The data that we get gets assigned to our 3D text with a decimal place of 1. Under color change, we have our variables. And over here is just some code to handle the changing of the color with respect to the temperature that we obtain. 
So you can see our cup is green at room temperature. It'll turn red when it gets a bit hot and blue when it gets a bit cold. So we got our numerical data and we got our color visualization. Only thing left is our graph data. So you can see we're reading a temperature of 21.9 degrees Celsius. 22 if we did it up with my hand. Let's try temp text as a child of image target. And now we're going to create a game object. This game object will house our GPU graph asset. We add a gizmo to it and change the color to purple or whatever color you want. Just so that we can visualize its position much more easier. So under assets, go to GPU graph, scripts, test, and drag our GPU graph test onto it. Onto our game object. Click play. And now you can see we have our graph there, but it's graphing in reverse. Let's fix it quickly. It is a bit more easy to change our own 3D objects as opposed to other assets. So let's just reverse these objects as well as our text. We can center it to origin and shift it into place. Our graph, we can stretch it just a little bit to about 3.6 or 4. Click play. And there you have it. We got our temperature, in numerical data, color data, as well as a time series data array. Now all that's left is for us to test our temperature on boiling water as well as on ice water. And as you can see that it works really well, color changes from red to green to blue. And this can be very useful to determine the temperature of just about anything. Okay, that is it from me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next lecture. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And also click the bell icon if you'd like to receive notifications on future videos. Cheers for now.